The man behind the wheel of a golf cart is now charged in a deadly accident. A passenger fell, hit his head on the pavement, and later died. KMTV Action 3 News senior reporter Jake Wazikowski spoke to the victim's sister and joins us live with the latest. Jake. Gen 31-year-old Patrick Jurgensen died close to a month ago. His sister says they don't blame the driver for what happened. He was just never serious. Life was just fun for him. Pat Jurgensen was a fun-loving, outgoing father of two who served in the Air Force for 12 years. He and his Gretna neighbors were close and enjoyed spending Thursday nights together, sometimes using the neighborhood golf cart. But a single turn on that golf cart ultimately took his life. The night of July 10th, Jurgensen and three others were on it when 24-year-old Cody Dembinski was driving. Dembinski took what investigators say was a sharp turn about a block from their homes. Jurgensen fell off, hitting his head on the pavement. He later died at the hospital. His sister, who lives out of state, says nobody's to blame. Well, he was my only sibling, so it's, I don't know that it's fully set in for me yet, but it wasn't his fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. It was just a big Accident. Now Dembinski is charged with misdemeanor motor vehicle homicide and careless driving. Court papers say, though it may have been unintentional, Dembinski was allegedly operating the golf cart in violation of the law. I don't know, it just seems wrong because it was just an accident and there was no malicious intent or anything like that. Jurgensen and Dembinski lived next door to each other. His sister says, though her brother always had a smile, he would have been heartbroken to know that Cody is being accused of causing his death. We don't blame anybody for it, and Pat would absolutely hate it that Cody, you know, was getting charged. If convicted, Dembinski faces up to a year in prison for the motor vehicle homicide charge. He will be arraigned in a few weeks. Sarby County Attorney Lee Polikoff couldn't be reached for comment today. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.